this last weekend, I had the opportunity to take two of my boys, Ryson and oh, Reese, wow. to the Reno Pole Vault Summit, which happens once a year. And this is like a huge convention for pole vaulters. You have world-class pole vaulters there that are speaking to us. You have them in a competition. Uh, you have all different levels of this competition. We go to seminars. We learn how to be better coaches. We learn how to be better jumpers. It was great. It was a lot of fun. It got me really excited for this season for track. Also, uh, during the competition, uh, Reese, he's, he's only practiced one day, went seven feet. Good record for him. Uh, Rice in my 16 year old, he uh, on first jump on warm ups landed on his pits on the on his feet and sprained his ankle. That is rule number one when you, you don't land on your feet uh, on the pits. Very dangerous. Myself, when I competed, I didn't do too well myself. I didn't have any practices ahead of time and I ended up no hiding, which means you miss your first three attempts and you're done with the competition. It's always real frustrating. You never get used to no hiding. Any pole holder will tell you, you never just get used to it and go, oh, okay, I didn't, I know I did. It gets really frustrating. Dang it, and you always get mad every time. If you're interested in the pole vault, sometimes there's local clubs, local high school. Uh, there's a lot of people getting into it younger because of the local clubs. You can get some coaching. And uh, what was amazing at this meet was there was probably 50% of the participants there were female. It was awesome. Ever since women started pole vaulting, it has just brought another element to the pole vault. It just made it more popular and uh, more notoriety. It's been great.